Well, hello there, fellow Mick Travels. Allow me to introduce myself. So my name is Sean, and I love to travel. And I think my love for traveling came for me moving from where I was born, all the way in the United States, to Belgium, to here in Washington State. Now, the reason I moved on this so much is because of my military background and my family. And I think uh, I just love traveling in general and meeting new people and getting to know our new culture. And over the past couple of years, we you know what's cool and everything. I've gone to travel some places that I've never been and have been very fortunate to travel with them, such as Las Vegas and Union, Washington. And, Robin, and I also got to travel to a beautiful lake land, if you guys have ever heard of that. And I've even took a day trip to Seattle, I've seen Space Needle, and I'll to the place market. So let's get uh, let's dive right into this video. So today's video will feature deals and some travel tips for, or you guessed it, the upcoming holiday, which will be America's birthday, aka Fourth of July or Independence Day. So, let's start off with, with travel deals. So, these travel deals are split up into two coasts. The first coast is East Coast, the second one is the West Coast. So, most coasts have two travel deals each. Okay, so let's write it and dive right in. So, the East Coast. So, on the East Coast for the 4th of July, there's a travel deal where you can get a, a cruise for the 4th of July. A fire cruise in New York City. And I will include some of the prices down below in the description. And also, if you're enjoying this video so far, please be sure to get a like and or comment or subscribe so that way YouTube will show it to more people who may enjoy it, just like you fellow viewers out there. And yeah, please enjoy the rest of the video and let's dive right into the rest of the deals. Okay, so 4th of July travel deal, number one, East Coast travel deals. Okay, so for the East Coast, what we have for the 4th of July is, and if you go to NYC, New York City, they have Macy's Safari Parks Spectacular, which will be on NBC, but if you can go there on 4th of July in person, if you're living somewhere close to that or you plan to take vacation, uh, make sure to book your tickets early because there's obviously going to be a crowd of people but you can get some pretty sweet deals okay now so bonus as a bonus if you go to east coast and you're in the orlando and the area you can get disney world tickets it's to, and maybe you can get some discount tickets to go to disney world and they have a, a fireworks night on fourth of july so make sure you come and celebrate 4th of July on Disney World if you're planning to come in the Orlando area in Florida where they will have a fireworks night for patriotic America fire. Okay, now let's get back to NYC. So NYC, you can also take a fireworks cruise down one of the rivers like the Hudson River, Manhattan, anything. And they also have a fire cruise. And if you go to any group in Trivag or Trivago, they may have some discount tickets. So check your group on if you have it, or check some Trivago or Yelp for reviews or discount in or discount tickets. Okay, now back to East Coast. So on the East Coast, they have the Disneyland, and which is the I mean. In the West Coast version, sorry. So on the West Coast version, they have a Disneyland. And on the West Coast, you can get also get discount tickets for California Adventure or the main part of Disneyland on the 4th of July weekend. So if you want to travel to California, and if you're ever in the California area on 4th of July, and based on first of spirits, it's amazing. I've been there before after a cruise, and it was pretty awesome. So I highly recommend you go there. So they have a fireworks tonight and they're also with a patriotic fireworks tonight. So yeah, and they have all sorts of rides you can go there, like the Pirates of Caribbean and you know, the Thunder Mountain, the Log Walk Rider. 
they even have the at the California Adventure the Mission Breakout <coughs> by the thing by that movie. <coughs> the <coughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Okay, and who's there? Okay, so I just want to jump. And so if you go to Pacific North, if you're living in the Pacific Northwest or trying to come here for the Woods Valley in the Seattle area, then, which is, then, you can go to C the Seattle area for the parks tonight at Gasworks Parks. Yep, it's in Gasworks Parks, and on the open the doors at 3 p.m. You can come in early, get your seats early, get there, meet the crowd, and they have all sorts of events and activities for the sea for like a uh, boat race show, they have like a air race show, Blue Angels, yeah, and then all sorts of stuff. So if you're in the Pacific Northwest area or, or live in the Portland area, want to take a day trip to the Seattle area, which is where I'm uh, close to, and yeah, uh, make sure you visit the area on 4th of July. July to see some spectacular fireworks at night. Be, also, be sure to also check out the areas nearby like Everett or even the other areas like Spokane. They have all sorts of 4th of July stuff all around Pussy Doors. Make sure to check it out. Now, on to the hacks of the video. So. This actually will be pertaining to watching the fireworks for the first Okay, so, hack number one. Always come early to see the fireworks. Now, when I say this, don't come there maybe an hour, so unless there's a festival, but come early, like I said, one to two hours, if you're only planning, planning to come to fireworks, and make sure you come early, and make sure you bring a water bottle, and check your local weather, which will be second tip. Tip number two, check your local weather. Check your local weather to make sure it, when you bring your white clothes, make sure it's shorts, or if it's rainy, wearing a rain jacket. And tip number three, always be prepared for the unexpected if you're lighting fireworks at home. So let's say that a fire starts because the fireworks actually dropped well, Always have the uh, local emergency services on hand. Have your phone ready. Have someone call the police on, uh, on the firefighter. Okay. And next thing you want to know is you shall always bring go empty water bucket when lines of fireworks. Yes. In case the fireworks starts to go off again, make sure you dip it in water to pull it out. And also bring a fire extinguisher just in case. Uh, it catches some uh, flammable things on fire, like clothes or your wet, or just soft top or off. Or just make sure you keep it in just in case. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you have a, a safe and fun 4th of July and have a good weekend and enjoy the rest of the weekend and your 4th of July. Peace. See you in the next video. And don't forget to, to hit the subscribe button and like well and comment what travel video you would like me to see you next on travel deals or tips and tricks. See ya.